got this from AliExpress, and uh, it's not like it didn't come with instructions. There was a crumbled up leaflet in the box. Um, it was in Chinese, and it was for a different model. I can't show it to you guys because it got tossed in the wastebasket, clean shot, never touched the rim. So I searched online for a manual and uh, on YouTube to see if there'd be a tutorial somewhere, and nada, nothing. So I decided to just go ahead and use it. I mean, just how complicated can this be, right? You just set your temperature up and down. And I was able to successfully reflow this PCB. It's a fairly complicated circuit where lots can go wrong. And after some extensive testing, the hot plate method was proven. So even if I'm not anal about these fancy profiles, I have to admit that 13 and a half minutes to rise to the reflow temperature is a bit much. So I messed with this thing and I discovered that there is a hidden menu here that you can access through a long press of the set button. And we can cycle through five different settings. One, two, three, four, five. Now these were tricky to decipher. This setting here can be zero to 400. This one also zero to 400. This one can be two to 100. This one can be minus 99 to plus 99. And this one can be a zero or a one. So let's start with the last one, the zero or one. Turns out that the one is a lock and it prevents you from making any changes to the other settings. So let's make that a zero and cycle back to the first one. Now we could make that any number we want from zero to 400. This is the maximum temperature that you can set with later on in operation through the up and down arrows. So I've decided to set this at 195. I don't want this plate to get any hotter, but you can choose any setting between zero and 400. Move on to the next. This one too can be between zero and 400. It's the lowest setting that you can, in operation, set with the up and down arrows. And you choose any small number, I guess, but I've chosen 25 here. The following is two to 100 is the range. And it's the duty cycle. It's how quickly it can rise to the temperature. Uh, don't confuse that 2 to 100 as like exactly duty cycles. Uh, it's more like a rate, all right? 2 is the slowest, 100 is the fastest, and I set it to 100. This one here is weird because you can go minus and plus 99. What it is is that it's a display offset, and if the measured temperature of the bed doesn't agree with the display, you can input an offset here uh, to correct that. I left it at zero. Then we come back to the zero or one. I choose one to lock it. Long press to lock. And we're in business. And as Peter Falk and Colombo would say, just one more thing. You would think that in operation, when you short press the set button, and enter the temperature set mode with the up and down arrows, you would think that if you set it and then exit, that that would automatically initiate that new setting, right? But it doesn't. You need to switch that off for a few seconds, switch it back on for that new change to take effect. And it's important to note that that's for when you change it going up, but it's also for when you change it coming down. So don't assume that you've made that change, exit the setting mode, and that it will automatically initiate your lower setting. You have to cycle that on and off switch for that change to take place. Now I've compiled all of this in a PDF, which I share with you, and you won't find this anyplace else online. So now that I've got these new settings under my belt, 
I'm going to have an upcoming video where I'm going to do another PCB right from scratch. I've chosen the HS101 Pro, uh, which is really sweet. I mean, that's a gem. And it's going to be a really good test because you see this area of the board here? This is where a 6S21 programmable amplifier is going to go, and not just any. It's the small outline package of the 6S21. Compare it to the SOP that we did in the previous video. So it's going to be very tricky. So I hope to catch you guys then.